The competition in the mobile operating system market has been heating up significantly with Huawei's introduction of Harmony OS Next, a departure from the previous versions that heavily relied on Android's core code. Harmony OS Next is built on an independent microkernel architecture, which sets it apart from Android in multiple aspects. This architectural shift reflects Huawei's ambition to carve out a unique ecosystem that can compete directly with the well-established Android and iOS platforms. One of the most significant distinctions lies in the underlying system architecture. Android, which is built on the Linux kernel, uses a monolithic architecture. In this model, essential modules, including memory management, device drivers, and network support, are integrated into the kernel. While this design provides Android with considerable power and versatility, it also makes the system more susceptible to failures. A malfunction in one module can potentially destabilize the entire system. Moreover, Android's reliance on the Android Open Source Project, AOSP, allows developers to create custom ROMs, contributing to a rich ecosystem. However, this flexibility comes at a cost, as it often leads to increased resource consumption. In stark contrast, Harmony OS Next introduces a self-developed microkernel architecture, eliminating any dependence on Linux or AOSB entirely. The microkernel is lightweight, incorporating only essential functions such as task management and memory allocation. This design not only enhances efficiency and security, but also allows issues in non-core modules to be isolated without affecting the overall system stability. Additionally, the microkernel architecture fosters cross-device collaboration, enabling seamless integration across various devices such as smartphones, tablets, wearables, and smart home appliances. Another key difference between Harmony OS Next and Android lies in their respective application ecosystems. Android boasts the world's largest app ecosystem, with over 3 million applications available through the Google Play Store. This extensive network is supported by a vibrant developer community, which ensures broad app compatibility and numerous options for users. Android's ecosystem extends beyond mobile devices to encompass tablets, TVs, and wearables, making it widely accessible for developers. In contrast, Harmony OS Next is making a concerted effort to build a fully native app ecosystem, intentionally moving away from Android compatibility. The new operating system no longer supports Android apps, pushing developers to create native applications using the RTS programming language. While the number of available apps is currently smaller compared to Android, with around 15,000 native applications covering diverse services, Huawei has introduced tools like the Arc compiler to facilitate efficient app creation and attract more developers to its platform. When examining the openness and customization capabilities of both operating systems, Android shines as a champion of user freedom and flexibility. Its open-source nature allows manufacturers and developers to tailor the operating system to meet specific needs. This openness has resulted in a diverse array of custom ROMs and unique user experiences, though it can also lead to fragmentation across devices. Harmony OS Next takes a more controlled approach to openness. While it still retains some flexibility, Huawei's OS aims for a more uniform experience across its devices. By focusing on a proprietary architecture and a native app ecosystem, Huawei aspires to ensure a more cohesive user experience. This shift may reduce customization options for developers compared to Android, however, Huawei argues that its ecosystem offers better security and optimization tailored to its hardware. In terms of performance, both Android and Harmony OS Next have their strengths. Android's performance is robust, particularly on high-end devices, thanks to powerful hardware and extensive optimizations. However, its monolithic architecture can lead to performance bottlenecks, especially on lower-end devices where resources are limited. Harmony OS Next, on the other hand, aims for efficiency and speed through its microkernel architecture. By keeping the kernel lightweight and moving non-essential services to user space, Harmony OS can potentially achieve faster boot times and improved responsiveness. This efficiency could allow Harmony OS Next to run smoothly across a wider range of devices, 
including not only smartphones but also various IoT gadgets. As the smart device market continues to expand, this adaptability may give HarmonyOS next a competitive edge.